welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be a what's for dinner video. I'm going to be sharing five different recipes with you guys of dinner ideas and I will have everything linked down below and I hope you enjoy. Okay, tonight's meal is going to be barbecue chicken pizza. This is one of my go-to meals. Um, I keep a list in my phone under like easy recipes and this is one of the recipes in that list. It's just something super easy that I know I can make quickly. So basically I'm just going to put chicken in a crock pot and cover it in barbecue sauce and let it cook for like three to four hours. Okay, so my chicken is almost done cooking and I'm getting my pizza ready. So I like to use this Cali Power crust. Um, it's a two pack and they're pretty small. So my husband and I will usually just each have our own pizza when I use these. But of course, I like to use this because it's a lot healthier than regular pizza crust. Just find this in the frozen section. a little bit of barbecue sauce first not a whole lot but just a little bit first on the crust and then mozzarella on top of that do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in all your hopes and efforts are all in vain And then this is a garlic and herb seasoning. And this might be a little bit weird, but I'm gonna add corn to it because I made this for my kids earlier and I figured I may as well use it up. So I'm gonna put some on our pizza. Does it all become for granted? I'm going to shred up this chicken in my um, KitchenAid. I definitely did not need two full chicken breasts. I could have gotten by with just one. Um, so we'll just have the leftover chicken. And then I'm going to sprinkle shredded cheddar over the top of this. Come my way. I was just a little girl when my mama used to say. Okay, here's how the pizza turned out. It looks and smells delicious, and I just drizzled some more barbecue sauce over the top of it, and then I'm gonna slice it up, and we're going to eat it. What happiness requires work every day. Okay, so the first step of this recipe is to make this spread, which is mayo, parmesan, and garlic powder. So I just mixed that up. My chicken breasts are actually still a little bit frozen, so they are thawing out in the microwave. So I'm just going to spread this mixture on top of my chicken breasts, top them with salt and pepper, and then I'm going to just put them on here and bake them for 20 minutes in the oven. how the chicken parmesan turned out so it's kind of like um just a baked garlic parmesan and then i put ours over the noodles and sauce but you could actually put it over vegetables or really anything you could also use white sauce um really switch it up however you like okay tonight's dinner is going to be a crock pot meal so i'm getting started on this early 
and I am just browning some ground beef and yellowing some white onion in here and then I'm going to add it into the crock pot. Okay, so while that is cooking, I got out the rest of the ingredients and this is going to be a crock pot chili um, with Fritos and cheese on top. It's gonna be really good. So I'm going to be adding diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, pinto beans, chili beans, and then some seasonings, taco seasoning, chili seasoning, garlic, and salt. Okay, now that my meat is fully cooked, I'm just going to pour all of those other ingredients on top so we've got tomato sauce regular chili beans diced tomatoes pinto beans okay so i'm just gonna mix it all together and then i will let this just cook on low for Thank until you. dinner time it's like two o'clock right now so probably until about seven so five hours okay so here is how the chili turned out um, I actually tasted it and it's really good. My kids just had it for dinner um, and they actually really liked it. So we're just going to top it with shredded cheddar cheese, Fritos, and Greek yogurt. Okay, so tonight's recipe is actually coming from the Magnolia Table Cookbook. I recently got this cookbook. This will be my first recipe out of here, um, but you could probably expect quite a few more from me because they have so many good recipes in here. So this is kind of just like a chicken and just a bunch of different ingredients. Sounded really good, so I'm gonna make this tonight. Um, it does call for cooked chicken, so I went ahead and started my chicken earlier today in the Instant Pot with some chicken broth and some seasoning. So that is cooked and ready to go. And then it calls for three boxes, which seems excessive, but we'll go with it. Three boxes of this wild rice. So I am preparing the rice right now because it's gonna take about 25 minutes to make the rice. So I'm gonna get the rice ready. Um, before I actually start getting to cooking. Um, but you also need artichokes and water chestnuts and probably a few more things. Okay, so now that my chicken is cooked, I just shredded it up. I always use my um, KitchenAid to shred my chicken. And I'm gonna add the cooked rice into here. This is a ton of rice. Okay, and now I'm going to add in the artichokes, the whole jar with the liquid. Then we're gonna add in water chestnuts, drained. and garlic powder it also called for tarragon but I don't have that and that's not a spice that I use very often so I didn't purchase that just for this recipe now I'm gonna stir everything together must be another way there must be conscious different things in different ways there must be more So now I'm just going to cover it with some cheddar cheese and bake it for 35 minutes. And I will say, this is huge. So this is, um, we'll definitely have a lot of leftovers. And I would say this could probably feed like a family of five. Um, Cause this is a really thick, deep, loaded casserole. So this is a really, really big meal. I definitely could have cut this recipe in half. Um, but we'll just have a lot of leftovers. All right, so here is how it turned out. I actually want to taste a little bite of it right now because I'm starving and I'm curious. <laughs> it's so hot. I 
it's really good it tastes just like a chicken casserole i'm sure my husband's gonna put like sour cream or something on top of it okay so tonight's recipe is going to be turkey meatballs with mozzarella cheese and spaghetti and i make this recipe a lot i don't think i've ever done it in one of these style videos but i've probably shown it before in a vlog um but it's really good and pretty healthy and i also wanted to show you guys what i do with recipes that i like i always make sure to like star them in my phone but i also like screenshot you can't see that <laughs> i screenshot the pinterest um or wherever it came from usually it's pinterest recipe and ingredients and then i save it in my phone under recipes that way when i want to make it i don't have to like go back and try to find the original one so i'm going to be looking at that for this recipe but to make the meatballs you need ground turkey one egg garlic cloves italian seasoning parmesan salt and pepper and panko breadcrumbs okay so for the center of the meatballs you use mozzarella string cheese so i'm gonna go ahead and open these up and cut them into like little bite-sized pieces now while my hands are nice and clean before i start mixing up the meatball mixture Okay, now that it's all mixed together, I'm going to turn these into little meatballs, actually kind of bigger meatballs, like that size. And then I'm gonna take one of my mozzarella pieces and I'm just going to shove that in there and re-roll it. And then now that it's ready, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the hot oil behind me. Okay, so you just wanna brown your meatballs in olive oil, and then once they're kind of browned on every side, or at least a little bit, um, you can transfer them to a parchment paper where they'll go in the oven so they can bake all the way through. Okay, so now these are gonna go into the oven and bake so they can get all the way cooked through at 400 degrees for, I'm gonna do about 10 minutes. And while those are cooking, I'm going to make the sauce. So I'm going to go in with the same pan that I just cooked the meatballs in. I'm going to add some more olive oil. I'm going to add the rest of the minced garlic and let that simmer. Two cans of diced tomatoes and salt and pepper and then a pinch of sugar and just let this simmer and this is so 
good. It's just like a really nice, chunky, but light, flavorful sauce. And it's so good with those meatballs. And I'm also gonna start boiling some water so that I can start some pasta. I'm gonna use both this vegetable one, which I love. This is like my favorite because it's just a little bit healthier. And then I'm also gonna use a little bit of this angel hair and just kind of mix these together. And for our side tonight, I'm gonna make this Caesar salad kit. It's super easy. And this is just from Aldi's. Okay, so the sauce is a little bit thinner than what I prefer. I know David really likes thicker sauce. So I'm going to add in just a little can of tomato sauce to thicken it up. Here's how it turned out. Looks so, so good. I mean, I've made this plenty of times. It's really delicious. And then here is the Caesar salad, which David said is really good. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this and cooking with me. Let me know if there's certain recipes or certain food ideas you would like to see more of, and I will try to have another one of these out next month. Bye, guys.